normal. I can't sit up. I can kind of, but I can't like sit up fully. Um, but I can stretch out all the way, so that part's kind of nice. And yeah, this is where I hit my head the most because this part I wake up in the middle of the night and I sit up and I'm like, ow, because this thing is right in the middle of the ceiling. This is like, this is, this might be the least, my least favorite part of the van. <laughs> kind of not very nice when it's hot, but I do have a fan over here so I can like move it. Mm -hmm. And there's three different levels and stuff. Mm -hmm. So nice. it's not super nice when it's hot because it's kind of like a case, it's really stuffy, but when it's cold it's really nice and really warm. Orlando, Sotuinan,大阪市的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的阿里巴巴的
Um, and I guess the least favorite part is we're sort of temperature dependent. So you ca you got to be careful about being in places where it's too hot because sleeping at night, we don't have air conditioning or anything like that. Uh, we do have heat. So when it's cold, uh, we can handle the cold. Although if it's below freezing, you got to worry about water freezing and tanks freezing and things like that. But uh, generally, if it's too hot, that's the problem. Well, last year was really hard because, um, like Scott said, we don't have air conditioning. We're always chasing that. He promised me 70, 50 to 70. <laughs> so it was a good promise, yeah. but then we got to like Washington State and Oregon, we're supposed to be 70, and we had um, that heat dome, which got us to 116. So that was hard. But my favorite part is that I, I think today in society, the family disperses. So your kid goes to school, your husband goes to work, you go to work, and you know, maybe the family gets together once a day. So my favorite part is we're always together. I always know where everyone is. We're like in our, each other's space. My least favorite part is we're always <laughs> together <laughs> and we're in each, each other's space and you lose you know, um, the sanctity of your space. So it's um, 160 inches and you're pretty much on top of each other. Um, so it's got its good and bad, I think there are times when we love being together and then there's times when we all hate each other. <laughs> well, then we'll so. remedy that sometimes by spending, if we do 10, 12 days in the van, sometimes we go into a hotel for a night or two, uh, give us a little bit of space. Lies. We go into <laughs> hotels sometimes for <laughs> weeks. Sometimes we go for weeks. <laughs> Depends. Yeah. How is it like living in a van with a kid like me? Oh, please. I have to take this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. So, my husband and I thought when our daughter was born, we were, we were uh, older parents, so we didn't want her to grow up so fast and, and miss everything. So we thought that, you know, we cut back on our careers, uh, we were going to do almost part-time status so that we spend more time with our daughter. So we, when we were growing up, we thought this was awesome. We we're like, oh my god, if our parents did this, we would have been like, this is the coolest thing ever. Mm. Our daughter, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, it's been a great experience in, in being able to show her this, but you know, I think with all good plans, um, our daughter grew up and said she doesn't, this isn't really as much for her. So now we're gonna, you know, go back to the drawing board and come up with something different. Once again, we love her, and then there's these we don't like. <laughs> Leah, keeping in mind that I'm giving you $5. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, well, what are your favorite parts and and least favorite parts? Um, well, I like going to to new places because it's really fun. Like when we go to uh, when we go to like hikes and and stuff, and like new, like museums. And there's with the van, it's a lot of places that we can go, like like museums and aquariums that, that are in like cities, so we can like fit usually. But it's really small, and I bump my head a lot. <laughs> I, 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 it's really really small, and I like space. So when I move around and stuff, like. I, I always bump into everything and and also like no more than two people can be up at a time so when I'm brushing teeth at night it's really hard and and sometimes I just want my privacy and stuff and it's really hard because there's like no place to do that. I can fill you in on some of the future so we, we've been uh, homeschooling Leah for five years and um, five long years <laughs> long, long years. and much of that on the road and so we're We've decided that in, uh, in about eight or nine months, when September comes around, we're going to go back to being in a, in a house and, and she's going to go into school because she wants to, you know, where a lot of people are coming out of school now, she mm. wants to go back into school and we're going to afford her that opportunity. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. We're going to do we'll that for a year. Three months. But we'll still travel in the van as much as possible in the summer on weekends. Breaks, try to get to Alaska, eat some bears, <laughs> come back in three months. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're going we're gonna to commit to a year and we'll see how that goes. How much did it cost building the van and then like living it? We bought the van new. It's a 2019 ProMaster 3500 uh, 159 extended wheelbase. It's basically the biggest ProMaster we could get. We have three people and we wanted to have a little bit of space. Um, so from the shell, I mean you can you can do you know a lot of money or little money. We 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 did a you'll see the build. I mean we did a fairly extensive build although we could have gone a lot higher but we, we shopped around and we tried to get as best uh, value as we could for things so 
you know, I don't know if you want to put a range, but you can uh, go anywhere from 10,000 to 30, 40,000 if, if you want to. Um, but we did all the work ourselves, except the only th things we didn't do are, are the seat and the heater. So we saved a lot of money by doing it all ourselves. Of course, we spent a lot I think of time too. We spent too. <laughs> a lot of money on the material. So, you know, the, the actual build material for the van ended up costing, a, you know, quite a bit. But in terms of the labor, um, and what we've noticed was when you go to a custom van builder, you know, you bring a brand new van or whatever van, and then they, you know, charge you about forty to, I think, sixty to seventy thousand range for their uh, material and their their uh, build labor cost. And we noted that out of the like, if you were to say about sixty thousand dollars, only about thirty thousand of it is towards the material, and then like. The other thirty thousand is the the labor cost. Maybe not even. It might be more like twenty forty. Yeah. So twenty um, material, forty labor. And what we found out that is their their material like it wasn't sufficient for us. So they didn't have enough solar panels. They didn't have enough batteries. Um, their refrigerators were small. Um, you know, just things that we we needed. So I, I think our build cost would be in if we were to be reasonable about thirty thousand dollars on top of our um, our fan cost. Um, so, you know, if the van was like, say 50, then it would be about another 30 on top. Thanks for answering the questions. Now it's time to see the van. This is the van. It's a 2019 Ram Promaster 3500. Um, I think it goes by Ducato or D D Ducato in Europe, but it's a, it's a European chassis, front wheel drive, uh, V6, um, you know, pretty standard. We ordered it just as an empty shell, so it comes with uh, you know two seats, and, and the back is all just metal, uh, no floor or anything like that. So, what sort of things did you put on the outside? We got two solar panels that are 320 watts each, so 640 watts of solar panels, and then we also we, we put in uh, a couple windows, one on each side, which is a little intimidating when you first you know you buy a brand new van, and the first thing you do is take a hacksaw to it, but. Uh, we did, um, so we have that, and then I, you know, I don't know if you want to see everything else, but we have this is the exhaust for the heater. Um, there's a heater that's a Lobasto that taps into the gas tank. It's very efficient. It's it's probably one of the nicest things in the van. Uh, this is a gray tank under here, which only it takes the uh, the waste from the sink and the shower, and I've got a ball valve on there so I can dump using the, this little switch. So I'll, keep I'll step in. So, uh, hmm. what's the covering? Oh uh, well, we just cover that so uh, the sun doesn't come in. Sometimes it's stronger, so people sometimes people can see in. So we try to maintain a little bit of privacy sometimes in the campgrounds, um, but most times we leave it off. It just happens to be on mm -hmm. right now. At nighttime, we cover all the windows um, because when you're inside, if it's dark outside and the lights on inside, you can see right in. Everybody can see what you're doing. Um, so we started with the seats and um, I guess I'll just work my way back. Well, actually under the seat is the heater we talked about before. I have it smoothed up right now because I haven't decided. I may vent it this way and put like a, a wooden shelf here, but for now we just leave it like that. Um, shoes go here. I got a little slot for my briefcase with my computers and things. All our backpacks go up top. Um, this is the fan we were talking about. Um, Put up these cabinets in the kitchen, and then this is all, you know, part of the kitchen. This is a water filter. So this seat uh, we added because we have three people, obviously. So this was done professionally. Um, we had a uh, <laughs> we had a professional upfitter do it so that it's all for insurance, and and they actually changed the placard on the door to make it a, a, a like a three-person vehicle. And uh, so this is hopefully safe in the event of a accident. Um, the let's see, coming back. I mean, we have the ceiling, so we put it, everything's insulated with wool. We used uh, a wool insulation, so works pretty well, I think. <laughs> uh, we don't we don't have anything to test it against, but but yeah, we've been down we've been down pretty low. I mean, we've been we've been well under freezing, and it's the only when I was talking before about the freezing issue is really just the gray tank. If we, if I know I'm going to be at night and it's going to freeze, I generally drain the gray tank and just leave it. All the other water lines come from the back. There's, I have a tank in the back which I'll show, um, but they're all above the level of the floor, and the floor is also insulated. 
Well, yeah. this is standard depth. These, so we were, t we we're, so I'm no carpenter. <laughs> I've basically been pushing papers for 30 years. Um, so we were toying with building our own cabinetry, but we found these. They're they're solid plywood, not particle board, and um, so we thought they'd be good. And they've been holding up pretty well. So we 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 put these in, but they're standard kitchen cabinets for a house. Um, and you know, it, it leaves us enough room where two people can pay. We're kind of small, so we can pass by each other and no problem. And um, probably a lot of people always ask, how do you, you know, what do you do for a, a bathroom? But we use this as a, um, it's a composting marine toilet. Cool. So um, I don't know if you want to see the details, but <laughs> but this, uh, we just pull it out and then it has like a, has like a diverter. <laughs> yeah. Which I so you kind of you pee in the front and you do your other in the back and um, it, it works pretty well. And then when you want to dump it, it's it's very easy. I mean, it's empty now, but it's just a jug. So so that that is that. And what we do is we have these little magnets, and this is we put magnets in here. So we put this curtain up, and then the toilet can be here and if, like at night we're all in the back whoever's using the toilet or we can do it the other way so like during the day we can put it back here and also put the curtain up <laughs> in here this is a shower um we don't we use it as storage <laughs> we do have a hot water heater mm -hmm. we can use the shower but i have it all valved off right now because we just uh okay we don't we don't use it very, we we found that we hardly ever used it so we just started using it as storage and it uh, works out better that way. We, since we're in the campgrounds quite a bit and we're in the hotels quite a bit, um, we, we get enough shower time. <laughs> I also have an outdoor shower, so if it's nice out, we can shower outside. Uh, the fridge we got was a, it's the biggest marine fridge I could find, a 12 volt fridge. So um, it's, you know, not a residential fridge or anything like that, but it's, it's a pretty big fridge for a van. What is this? Oh, this, <laughs> this we call Mooney. This is uh, a, <laughs> So on the, on, the, on the cabinets, we have these child safety locks. When they lock, they lock. So when we're driving, they don't open. And then this is a magnet, and it just opens mm -hmm. it. But when we're stationary like this, we just leave them open. Yeah. That's the move, man. Um, and then coming back here, I, do you want to show them your bed? Oh, sure. So this is my bed. I like her to show. Uh, it's kind of small. But I have a little light over here. As you can turn on. And I also have an outlet over here which I can charge things. Uh, and I also have a curtain here, so if I do want a little bit of privacy, I can open this up. And there's magnets in here, so, and there's magnets in here, so I can just put this up. And this is the idol. And then it's kind of privacy. Um, the back, so this is, I think it's about 60 inches. And then I split it, we put a wall here for Leah, so she has half, and then I'll show you why, because in the back, it gives you quite a bit of storage in the back. So our bed, it's a little taller than her, so you can sit up, <laughs> um, but then again, we are a little taller than she is too. Um, this is the hatch I was talking about before. So at night, we leave this hatch open, and we put that fan on exhaust, usually, so um, it pulls fresh air in and circulates it around, and it really cools off the van even if, it's, even if it's hot during the day a lot of times at night it cools off and we can really get it pretty cool in here so, um, so we have that and then we have more cabinets and a couple of cubbies which I can which you okay. there's um you know let me turn the I don't know if there's light but I we have more lights back there and there's outlets uh USB outlets for on both sides Those are just extra. Those are the covers for the windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I didn't show this before, but this is my seat, so which is where I spend most of my time. I have a table like this. It's like a lap table. So if I sit down, I can put this here, and this is like where I work. And then I also have the control panel, which is <laughs> really awesome. So I can control everything. So these are all the. These two are lights. This is like the main light. If I turn this off, then you can't use the water. But if I turn it on, you can. And then this is the dump switch which dumps the gray water tank.
And then I also have my box over here, which is where I keep all my stuff. So if, if the inverter is on, this is uh, power out. And then if I want to, this is power going in for, mm -hmm. um, if I want to charge the batteries. What's that? Dude. So because of the half wall, um, we're able to put in some bins for storage. This side is all water, so there's a, I forget the size, 30 some odd gallon water tank back there. I can take these out if you want to get better, better shots. Um, and then this is all the electrical. This panel comes off. This panel doesn't come off because it's good. But that's all the electrical system. You know, this is we, this is for our water fill, which when we're in a campground like here, I can just hook up to the to the spigot mm -hmm. and have the hose. Otherwise, if we're if we're boondocking or something like that, I can fill fill something like this and, and you know pour it in. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some lights right here that light this up. Uh, and then this is a shower. This is a, it plugs in. So if you want to shower outside. These are some drains if I ever want to drain for like winterizing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean that's... That's my bed behind there and the, you can see like kind of the stripes. So whenever this door is open, there's some like gaps in the in my bed so I can see like all the light. And sometimes I can see inside. Mm. You can see like, we call it the garage. Yeah. See, like that's the back wall of her bed. Mm. So you can see there's some gaps and stuff. So I can see outside a little uh, bit. Yeah, sometimes the light comes in. You yeah. built it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. We, well, so a couple things. I mean, we had a lot of experience because we had been in the travel trailer for a while. So we knew what we wanted. Um, we had seen a lot of vans because we've been traveling for a while and we looked at a lot of vans. Um, so, you know, for us, this was a great layout. Um, you know, other people, a lot of people want to have a, um, like a table back here with the fixed benches and then they make their bed every night. And then, you know, we didn't want to have to do that. So we wanted the fixed bed. So, you know, you, you always have your bed. It's not always made like this. <laughs> we knew you were coming, so we, we cleaned up a little bit, but, um, it's uh, it's nice, yeah. I mean, we it's plenty of space for us, and and you know, surprisingly, we spend sometimes we spend a lot of time outside, and uh, you know, some days we we're in the van like almost the whole day, and uh, you know, doing work. I work basically full time. She has her school, and so we you know, we make it work. <laughs> awesome, awesome. You have awesome life. <laughs> you see your daughter. Okay. Well, we do. We're we're very lucky. And, uh, Sometimes you make your own luck. We worked mm. hard to get to where we are, you know, to be able to do this. I, I, mm. I left a, a, a job that was with a big company and I started my own company. And, and, you know, it was a risk, but it worked out okay. And, and we're doing what we're doing. And it's working. <laughs> so someday we'll, you know, someday we'll go to Korea and we'll, we'll try our hand there. <laughs> thank you for the tour. Yeah, thank you so much for my referral today. Thank you for yeah. watching. Ah, really, really, you did it good. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Why don't you get on your YouTube channel? <laughs> I want don't, to. Don't promote you want? it. <laughs>